The first thing companies should think about before entering China is whether or not China is the right market for them because you can spend a lot of time and a lot of money up in market uh, without really seeing any gains. Uh, there's a, you know, a lot of problems that people will put a lot of time and effort into a distributor which then might not work out for them so they don't think China is the right market based on one bad experience. The other thing is that uh, is considering whether your brand you know, just because it works in your home country doesn't necessarily mean that it will work in China. And so really understanding that you might have to tailor certain parts of your brand and your product and your service to fit the Chinese market. So willing to be open-minded and think as in a Chinese model. In my experience, there are some key ingredients to creating a successful brand in China. The first thing is to really look at China in a long-term model. So what are your goals three years, five years, ten years in China? The second thing is really understanding your market and your consumer. So understanding that different, different cities in China and different tiered cities, they have different values, different brand awareness, you know, the consumers are wanting different, different things. The third thing is really telling engaging brand stories. So what is it that your brand has that no other brands have? How is that going to improve people's quality of life or their social status in China? Storytelling in China is one of the most successful ways for brands to really capture the hearts and minds of the Chinese consumer. Now that we're seeing so many foreign companies and foreign brands and products coming into the market, it's really important that companies can sell a story around their brand uh, to really promote how it is that it's going to better enhance a consumer's lifestyle. You know, stories are really important in China because obviously China has such a rich and long history and in their daily lives they continuously tell stories and engage with stories so it's important that foreign companies use this to really engage with the market. So this whole concept of storytelling is one of the trends that's emerging from China at the moment. Obviously the other trends are around this huge growing middle class and the amount of disposable income that they now have. Other trends are hugely around social media, uh, online technology, mobile technology. You know, you can't go anywhere these days in China without everyone being plugged into their mobiles. It's important to note that there are a huge amount of social media platforms in China. You've got ones that are, that are used by most of your online users and then there are others that are much smaller that are used by really specific niche markets. And what better way to reach half of your Chinese population than doing it you know, via social media and mobile technology. These days in China your traditional media is just hugely expensive and most companies entering China can't afford TV commercials, taxi adverts, print adverts, uh, so social media is really the way to go. A great recent example was Cornetto Ice Cream who used a whole lot of different channels to reach their consumers. And what they did was they told this story of love, they developed four different quadrants of love and they created uh, engaging characters that the local Chinese consumers could really relate to and bond with. And by having obviously smart product placement, they were able to tell the story of love and increase their sales and their brand awareness. So there's no doubt about it, there are some great opportunities to be had in China and we're also seeing some great success in other emerging economies such as Brazil. So it's really important that once we understand the market, we work out if it's the right fit, that we start building these engaging brand stories and we use the media that is in market to be able to tell our stories, reach our consumer and build our brands and our profiles overseas.